Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It's official, Jared Anderson will be facing Zan Kosobutsky on the 1st of July and he will be headlining this event which will also feature Aslan Bek Makhmadov and Rafael Ekpajuri squaring off. So a heavyweight double header. Let's face it, there's not a lot on the schedule. So this is one of the biggest cards in the coming months for the heavyweight division. So this was signaled a week or two ago with um, Anderson and Kosobutsky. And at the time, I think many of us who've um, followed both careers thought this was a pretty decent step up for Jared Anderson. So what we'll do is go through, the, there's actually two different press releases. One which is about the card, and then there's a second one where Jared Anderson has had a press conference in Toledo. So this fight is going to be in his hometown it's his uh, first main event so we'll start though with the the fight card press release and i'm not going to so much cover the makhmadov and akba jury fight i'll do a separate video for that one but uh, as you can see here promo poster saturday july 1 uh, it confirms toledo's knockout king is back undefeated heavyweight sensation jared anderson headlines homecoming battle against zan kosobutsky at huntington center live on espn so what we'll do is we'll cut straight to the quotes. So you have a um, Bob Arum, his um, top-ranked promoter and chairman, saying, Jared Anderson is a proud son of Toledo, and we're thrilled to bring top rank and ESPN to the glass city. Ever since Jared turned pro, we have set our sights on Toledo as a fight destination. He is now the best young heavyweight in the world, and the time was right to bring the real big baby home. Zan Kosobutsky is a ferocious puncher in his own right, and I expect an action-packed fight in front of a raucous, sold-out Huntington Center crowd. Anderson says, To my friends, family, and fans in Toledo, I cannot wait to come home. This is a dream come true. Trust me, I'm going to put on a show for you all. The support of my city has pushed me my entire career, and I know everyone will be in my corner on July 1. So a little bit brief there in terms of the comment. Zahn Kosobutsky, there is a comment here saying, um, the fact that this fight will take place in the United States in my opponent's hometown will make this fight interesting. I like to box strong opponents. Such fights are needed in the heavyweight division. I haven't watched his fights. They say that he is good, but we will analyze him in the process of my fight preparation. Well, i got to say, if, uh, if that's true, that he hasn't analyzed him at all, that's quite a big call to take this fight, given how good Jared Anderson is, being clearly one of the best, if not the best, rising heavyweight prospect in the division right now. But Zan Kosobutsky, talented amateur, he's been a good pro so far, struggled to get the fights that maybe he should have been in and obviously has wanted, but he's certainly going to get his chance to really step up. Both these guys are stepping up. Uh, this is the most danger for Jared Anderson of his career because Kosobutsky, dangerous, powerful southpaw who can punch with both hands and he's quite vicious. But one thing I was thinking about this week after the sort of the news of this fight being in the works was we really haven't seen the defense of Kosobutsky tested so much. So we're going to see how good he is in this one because against lower level opposition, you can look a lot better than maybe people think you are. But um, Kosobutsky is certainly good, but how good is still a bit of a question mark. But interesting with the whole um, hometown fight and Jared Anderson vows to put on a show, I wonder if there is a bit of pressure there on him to deliver. And will that make him take risks, try to be entertaining, force the issue? And could he end up walking onto something as a result of that? Uh, certainly in previous fights, Jared Anderson has been a bit open when he's tried to force things and sometimes has been hit, but he hasn't been hit with um, big punches. Uh, most of the guys he's fought so far haven't been heavy hitters, but Zan Kosobutsky can crack. Anyway, moving to the second uh, press release. So they held a uh, an event in his hometown. So you can see here, Jared Anderson announces Toledo homecoming battle against Zan Kosobutsky, yada, yada, yada. 
So the quote here, significantly longer than the first press release. So I thought it was interesting. Uh, so he says, uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm feeling so loved and embraced here. It means everything to me. I plan to put on a great show. I plan to show the kids in the city that we're still fighting and we're one of the biggest small cities in the nation. The world will know us. I've been in the gym going crazy. As you can see, my body shows it. My fights show it. My power shows it. I'm going to keep pushing and stay on track so that this train keeps going. I'm super excited. I'm happy to see all the familiar faces and all the friends and family. The cameras are good and all, but I'm doing this for my city. I'm doing this for the people that are here. I'm doing this for the people that don't have phones in their hand and are out there in the world right now fighting to survive. I've been fighting to survive for a long time. Now that I don't have to do that, I want to show you all that hopefully you won't have to do that too. Just keep fighting. Keep striving to be better and you will get there for sure. So clearly, this hometown um, main event means a lot to Jared Anderson. And with top rank um, from that previous release with Bob Arum stating, look, we wanted to target this as a fight destination. They clearly have plans to build Jared Anderson as a regional star uh, in the next sort of year or two before probably eventually at some point, once he steps up to that world level, he'll be in Las Vegas, you know, New York, that sort of thing. But um, I'm sure he's going to grow his fan base locally as a result of um, main events in the next year or two. And they do have quotes from Bob Arum and um, also the the mayor of Toledo, but we'll, uh, we'll skip through that. But this is a very good card, double header. So looking forward to it. Zan Kosobutsky, Jared Anderson, and then you have Rafael Ekpajuri and Arslanbek Makhmadov. I mean, it could be a case if Anderson gets through Kosobutsky, and he is the favorite, but this, there is certainly a lot of risk here. Zan Kosobutsky is a live dog in this fight. And I think there will probably be a few people who haven't seen much of Kosobutsky. They don't know much about him, so they will underrate him. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how this goes and if the perception shifts after the fight. But Anderson, he needs these tests on the way up. Let's face it, he does. Um, and maybe the next thing, if he gets by Kosobutsky, is possibly Arslan Bek Makhmadov. Makhmadov is now part of the top rank stable. Have him on as the co-feature, and then that makes sense for them to make that fight afterwards. And that's another good fight for Jared Anderson. Another style. Makhmadov is an on-top bully who likes to use his power punches. So I like this fight. I like the career pro progression for Jared Anderson. And there's more than a dollop of risk with this one. What do you make of it all now that it's made? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.